Day by day, slowly and gradually, major names in the PGA are swallowing a bitter truth. The fact that Liv isn't going anywhere. The stars, including the likes of Rahm and Rory, are beginning to show concern and aren't as critical of the rival league as they once were. So what has changed? And are the rumors about Rahm joining Liv true? Stick around as we tell you all about the superstar's plea and the glaring problem it revealed. Starting with golf's biggest problem, many of us at some point have to admit things we absolutely never wanted to. And we all know how much it sucks to admit that we're wrong about something, or to underestimate made its power and influence. Well, looks like the biggest stars in the game of golf have had a similar experience as well. The likes of Rory McIlroy and John Rahm have had to swallow a very harsh, super bitter truth. And the truth we speak of is none other than the fact that Live Golf Series is a beast that's here to stay. Don't believe us? Get a load of this. With 12 of the previous 24 winners currently plying their trade on the Live Golf Series and others rumored to be in talks with the league, the PGA and DP World Tour have lost out on some amazing talent. And it was quite evident in the 2022 President's Cup. The United States team crushed the international team marking their ninth straight victory with a final score of 17.5 to 12.5. And because Liv's defectors remained ineligible to play, including the world's most popular player Cameron Smith, many thought it was a one-sided, dull affair without the golf's biggest names. Now the next major concern is that the Ryder Cup in Rome the following year will also be a one-sided affair, and it'll deprive the competition of some of its biggest stars, and of course, entertainment. Some of the biggest superstars of golf have come to this realization, and have been very vocal about it. Moving on to the superstars' plea. As Shocking as it sounds, Rom wants the Rebels back. The 2021 US Open and one of the best players on the PGA Tour, John Rom, has rarely ever been as passionately critical about any issue as he's been about Liv. But he has now pleaded with the Ryder Cup organizers to allow Liv defectors to compete in the next year's Ryder's Cup. Rom said, The Ryder Cup isn't the PGA Tour and European Tour against Liv. It's Europe versus the US, period. He also said the Ryder Cup is above all for him because it pits the best of each team against one another. I wish they could play, but it doesn't look good. Even the biggest and the harshest critic of the new league league seems to have calmed down. It wasn't very long ago that the four-time major champion and FedEx Cup champion from last season, Roy McIlroy, criticized Liv Golf for what it had done to the game. Not that he stopped, but his attitude and tone have softened. Previously, in his own words, he hated it. In June, he said, Liv has no place in the golf world. I disagree with Liv's actions. He even went as far as saying that he'd be overjoyed if Liv was to disappear tomorrow. But things have changed now. He's now urging Jay Moynihan, commissioner of the USPGA Tour, and golf's greatest agitator, Greg Norman, to hold peace talks. He's pleased with the respective tours to cooperate because he thinks golf loses out due to the rivalry. McElroy says he never ever wants a fractured game. Not to mention, Rory believes golf is dying because of this. It must be super unfortunate to watch your most cherished thing go down like the Titanic right before your eyes. And being totally helpless about it, that's exactly what Rory currently feels like. He says that golf is currently tearing itself apart, which is bad for everyone. It's not good for the guys on this side, the sort of traditional system. And it's not good for the guys on the other side either. It's not good for anyone. There's a proper time and place for everything, and he thinks whatever is happening, it just isn't the right time. Having said that, I don't believe we can wait much longer. I'm all for everyone gathering around the table to try to decide something for sure. It's hard to admit, but the PGA Tour is no longer the end-all and be-all. The Live Golf Series has emerged as an unstoppable beast that's not going to slow down anytime soon. And what Rory has suggested is a super logical thing to do at this point, or watch huge names leave the league as they previously did. Let's look at the big names who've already lost. Ironically, this series was being laughed off earlier this year. No one would have ever. We mean ever in their wildest dreams imagined it be so successful so soon. With the financial support of Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Greg Norman's Run Golf Series has assembled the most competitive golf field. The 54-hole tournament with shotgun starts, no cuts, and team events are some of the features that many people may find unappealing, but the sheer caliber of talent wooed by the mouthwatering sums of money, and the possibility of not playing as much as well as taking the sport to new regions in the world has rocked the establishment. Many high-profile golfers, including Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Lee Westwood, and Ian Poulter, among others, have already fallen for the juicy financial package of Live Golf. And more stars are expected to be seduced by the same. Johnson, the top-ranked player to have joined so far, received $150 million, while Mickelson reportedly received $200 million just for showing up. Johnson even made his PGA Tour resignation to give Live Competition his full attention. Besides the mouth-watering signing on fees, the prize money that's being offered is staggering. In the eight event series, there's a $25 million purse to be divided among the 40 players in each tournament, with the winner taking home $4 million, and even the loser receives $120,000. That's massive. Moving on to the upcoming Ryder Cup. Sure, the golfers got a massive bank, but the PGA Tour's indefinite bans have also disqualified U.S. Live players from the showdown to be held in Rome in September of next year, and a U.K. hearing in February will determine whether the DP World Tour can impose its own sanctions. Until then, Sam Horsfield, Lee Westwood, and Ian Poulter are still in the running in the Ryder Cup qualification settings. The American side we see 
see across the Atlantic this time around will be drastically different from the one that defeated Europe at Whistling Straits. Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, and Bryson DeChambeau won't be on the team, and Phil Mickelson's hopes of leading the Americans to victory are also over. And yet, those who are still competing on the PGA and DP World Tour are the ones who are squirming the loudest. Rahm and McElroy's legacy may be decided by who they encounter on the tee and who they defeat. For now, it's way too early to say what happens next, but the ice is definitely melting. We mean Rahm has never been as passionate and vocal in his dislike of anything before. But surprisingly, he's not approaching it the way he once did. What could be the reason, we wonder? Many think that the star is ready to jump ship like his colleagues. With a juicy check and huge promises, anyone would gladly throw away their values, no matter how strong. And this is just golf, so we don't really blame him here. Let's look at what John Rahm says about his jump to live. Now, John isn't much of a social media guy, which is admirable in the year of our Lord 2022. He's only sent two tweets since August 10th. One of them was a highlight reel of some of his shots from the BMW PGA Championship, and the second tweet came in September, and it happened somewhat unexpectedly. Let's just say that Rom's Twitter account doesn't appear to be managed by the actual John Rom, which is a common practice for some of the biggest sports stars and celebrities in the world. Many hire managers to run in them and use it for advertisements, important news updates, and occasionally to display a bit of personality. We mean, not everyone is Donald Trump. But with this particular tweet, he felt the need to respond to himself to a report on Twitter regarding Live Golf. John DeLive was allegedly a go in a tweet from an account called Live Golf Insider. The anonymous account claimed, I've never been wrong about a Live signing. Just take a look at my track record. And this track record, which seems to be non-existent, got off to a bad start. Rom responded to the account by saying, I must inform you that you've started a losing streak because you and your source are wrong. I want to thank you for the lift in the pip. Now, of course, Rom isn't the first player to deny a report that he's joining Live, only to attend Live in the end. But for the time being, he still leans heavily toward the PGA Tour and the DP World Tour, only a little softer in his approach. And with that, it's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with Rory and Roms, please? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.